What? Hmm? Oh, there we go. Hello, and welcome back to another video. There's a little bit of a weird thing going on with the, uh, recording there, but yeah. Uh, well, 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 so yeah, we today we'll be taking a look, be taking a look at the secret doors add-on. There's a couple of reasons why I want to take a look at this add-on. Firstly, I'm all out of add-ons to review because the latest drop for add-on drop for Minecraft was bare, was, we're calling it bare bones, would be generous. It was like hardly anything in it. And a couple of them were duplicates, I think. They did add more later on, but there was only like two more. I can't remember what one of them on, one of them was, and, another, and the other one I literally can't review because it's like some sort of like, I think it's, it's like something to do with like another culture and like decorations and stuff. And it's like, I cannot review that even if I, uh, even if I did do like uh, reviews that just added, uh, of add-ons that just added like decorative stuff, uh, which I don't generally don't because I'm not like a builder, so I can't really give like, give you like any real inspiration on what you could use them for but uh, I don't know what they are what, or how to pronounce the names and or what their significance is in whatever culture or religion they're from so yeah I have this and I think this is probably a good one to look at because uh, basically what I saw from this is that you can basically just like make any like secret door you want uh, and I guess this would be like the best secret door add-on there is because you know you could just do any door you want. So, uh, you got a st oh, snuzzy girl, yeah. Anyway, door door casting function when placing this block, a settings interface will appear where you can uh, define how your door will work. You will be able to define the name, the password, which is optional, the opening axis, how many degrees the door will open, direction of rotation, whether the door will close. Ow! Lily! Ah! It's got my arm there. Eh? Uh, the ba ba. Where was I? The direction of rotation, whether the door will close. Automatically after 10 seconds, whether the pivot point of the rotation will be in the center or at the edge of this block. You can camouflage the block by uh, in interacting on any on any block on it. I think I think that just means you hold the block, you interact, you know, interact so like right click or whether your like place or open chest block it, uh, button is to disguise it. So. Yes, hello. Oh, she, she, oh, I'm sorry, Daddy. I didn't mean to bite you. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, uh, all door. Yeah, there is the door casting. Now well, this is quite cheap. Just four iron ingots and a piston. So I'll just give myself one of them. Give at p door cat. Oh, doors underscore casting. In there it's called, so you got that. Next up is door glue. Function, you can glue blocks by interacting on a block using the glue stick or by placing a block using the glue stick in the offhand position. Glued blocks will rotate along a door casing. You also glue the lava, just put the glue on the offhand and then place some lava while using a lava bucket. This will turn it into fake lava. Oh, that's cool. So to craft that, there's the glue. It's an iron ingot and a slime ball. And you only get one by the looks of it. So maybe making this not an anything it would be better. Uh don't really know what else you could use. You could probably use like paper or something, maybe. I don't know. But it's a bit expensive to just get one of them from one iron ingot. Or maybe use like an iron nugget because it's not mm, I don't know. Because you don't really need that much iron because you're basically hollowing it out. So maybe or maybe just like have a slime ball with like 
uh, like have like three slime balls uh, and six iron nuggets, like a uh, like a uh, bookcase, and then you can and then you get like three from them or something like that, or just like one slime ball, two iron uh, nuggets, uh, maybe or something like that, or four iron nuggets around the slime ball. I don't know. I just think it's a little bit expensive to have it have it consume an entire iron ingot. What? Anyway. Uh, but I'll just give myself uh some of that to blue sixty four. Oh great, and it doesn't stack. That's not great. Yeah, I don't know. Oh. Okay, so it's not just a one. Ah, so that's. Ah, I see. So it has 150 durability, so it's not just a one time use thing. Okay, that's a bit better then, I guess. Doors wrench. Function. Well. <coughs> ah. mm. Sorry, I still got a bit of a uh, sore throat from yesterday. Ugh. So I'm just going to stick one of these in my mouth to help. While holding the wrench, interact with a door casing or a door uh, single emit signal emitter to edit its settings. If the casing is camouflaged, it is necessary to remove the camouflage by breaking the block, then interacting. So the door's wrench. Two sticks and an iron ingot. Door signal emitter. Using a door when she can access the settings menu and then enter the name and password and then when in contact with a redstone signal it will open or close the locked door. So this is basically just like a way to like wirelessly open the door. So yeah, there's a signal emitter. It's an eye of ender. A piston and four free iron ingots. Sig. No emitter. So I might take a look at that later. Doors controller. Function. You sneak and interact to access the lo login menu. Enter the name and password of a door. And then when using the item, it will open or close the locked door. So, what was that? The controller. Controller. Free iron, redstone dust, eye of ender. Basically, a handheld version of the signal emitter. And secret bed. Uh, function, when play is uh, it, it, a, a color selection interface will open. This bed is not for sleeping, only for making secret door systems. After selecting the uh, color, it will act as a uh, door casing. But if you cancel the configuration interface, it will automatically be glued and will work with its sys systems using door casing. Okay. So, bed, there it is, secret bed, it's a bed and a door casing. Um, bed. Fake bed. So yeah, and then you have like... Oh, why is magenta cyan? 
So that does that mean like cyan is magenta? No, cyan is cyan. I don't know why he, uh, And if we just close out of this. So yeah, that's glue, so now it acts like a uh so you can use oh. You don't get it back after breaking it. What? Oh well, I'll just give myself another one. So let me first I wanna Oh maybe it got glue no it got glue because I got the blue gun. Uh let's give myself some blocks. So give at P um what blocks should I might could I use that? Uh, I'll just use stone bricks. Sixty four. Oh, wait, S sixty four. There we go. So we put those two there, that one there. Test. So I'll just call that test. Place password, that's not necessary, but I'll just put. Uh, four twenty. So you got the opening axis. So X front to back axis. Y left to right axis. Z top to bottom. Right. So that's wrong. So Y is top to bottom. Yeah. And I don't know about. So let's do Y. Opening degrees. I guess. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, direction clockwise, anti clockwise, close door after 10 seconds, central pivot, direct. submit. So, yeah, then you can disguise it. Two, three, one, two. And I'll just go two out this way. Then I'll go two up. One, two. And there we go. So how do I open this? So I guess yeah, so I guess to open this you need to get you need to make a door control a door controller. Why can't I hold on, how do you use the door controller? Sneak and interact, okay. Yeah. So test four twenty submit. Doors go. And so there we go. Ah, so if you do it on the y-axis, it does that. Um, Oh, I did not want to remove it. If you're going to have it need to be broken to do that, you should at least make it so that it doesn't break instantly. So that's, so that's why. Let's do X axis. Submit. So if you're doing it x-axis, it opens up like that. And if you do it z-axis, it It basically just tears out. Well, you could actually you could actually use this for more than just a door, I guess. Actually, no, because it doesn't rotate all the way around. It just goes that way. You might be able to use this for something more than a door. So I guess if you were if you wanted to make uh, this one the door, you'd have to like um. 
So you'd have to have it like, so here. So you'd have like the wall, oh, hold on, the wall here. So you'd have like a wall there and then you'd activate it and then you would hit road heat. Ah. Hold on. I need to have it rotate more. So one eight this I think I you need to be rotated one eighty. Yeah, then it would open up like that. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Uh, and I believe this also does work with blocks from other add-ons, so uh, I'll test that out in a minute. Let's... Uh, uh, let's go to game mode one real quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick block a regular bed because I want to test this out with a regular cyan bed. Let's get some add-on blocks. Um, what blocks are from other add-ons? Uh, pardon me. Uh, uh, oh wait, S uh, uh, uh. There we go. We got seared bricks. So seared rock. So oh yeah, it. Oh wait, hold on. Let me get the glue in my offhand. Yeah, it works with uh, uh, blocks from other add-ons as well, which is cool. Yeah, and it rotates him. There's a question, does it? Does it not work with beds? Yeah, you didn't hear the... Uh, the slime sticky thing. So if I do that, yeah, the bed's just going to stay there. Which is a little bit of a shame because it would be cool if it did work with normal beds. But you do have to use a fake bed. So if you just do that, then it'll act like, you know, a block when you rotate it. But then, if you place it down, and then you can bed. You, oh, you can set there a password, bed. Submit. Bed. So, oh, I did not mean to do that. So, now, hold on. Game zero. Shift, right click. Bed. Bed. Submit. Yep. So, yeah, that's just a bit door now, and then. So that was X, this is Y. I like Y, Y is, uh, 
Okay, the cocos need to shut that up. Oh. There we go. Uh, and you need to right click the pillow to open this. Z. He's pretty good as well. But yeah, so it's a shame that you can like use a normal bed or sleep on these beds. But I guess you could have like three beds and then have like the middle one be a secret entrance. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, let's check out the door signal mirror. So, if I get the wrench, I do test for 20. So, then I get a but a buton. I can't not get the oak buttons. Oh, it's because I'm in survival. Yeah. There we go. Uh, lock there. Oh, well, no. the glue might mark that up. Boom. Uh, do you need dust then? So give at p redstone. So why is the ice melting? It's global warming. Is we were in my review well anyway. Do that. There we go. Yeah. So you need a redstone dust going into it. To activate it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. But yeah, pretty cool add on. Um, like I said, my only problem is that uh, because you need to like uh, break that block to edit the uh, settings in it, you're just gonna, you're probably just gonna end up breaking the block it the block itself so that could do with like having its mining time increased but yeah pretty cool add on you can and I bet you could make some really cool doors with this in fact um I have a discord that there's a link down in the description you can join it for free uh and if you uh, and if you have this add on and you can show off like your doors that you've made and I'll give you like a rating out of ten for your door just like post a screenshot of it in the discord and i'll rate it but yeah anyway i hope you guys all did enjoy this video uh, i hope you found it informative and to help you decide whether or not you want to pick this side on up or whatever and i hope to see you guys in the next video video uh and yeah no oh, i forgot to go full screen anyway bye bye